Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your lower body glute and hamstring focused strength workout. What you're going to need today, a lot of stuff. We need a mat, a dumbbells. The more dumbbells you have, the merrier, have them around. We need a band. I have a fabric band, but latex will do the trick as well. You need a book or something to just elevate your feet about one to two inches. Make sure it doesn't slide on you. And we need a bench. If you don't have a bench, replace it with a chair. Just make sure the chair is up against a wall. There are two exercises that we could use this bench for, hip thrusts and then dumbbell lying hamstring and curls. I know a lot of us don't have a bench at home, so I will be performing those uh, dumbbell lying hamstring curls on the mat, but the, the bench will provide a greater range of motion, bigger stretch. So if you have a bench, definitely do it there. I'll have a little picture up in the corner for what I'm talking about. Also grab something to hydrate with. All right, so we have four blocks today. We will be repeating exercises today. We are trying to fatigue your muscles. So we're gonna hone in on an exercise and get really freaking good at it, all right? So less is more, we're getting stronger. We will be repeating exercises today. Once we get into a block, 60 seconds on, 15 seconds off, we'll get a little longer transition time as we go into a new block. If at any time you need to take a longer break, take it. Also, you and I are different. Find a weight selection selection that is challenging for you. I'm not even going to tell you what I'm using. I want you to find a weight selection that is challenging for you. If we're going to repeat, so if by the end of the 60 seconds, it doesn't feel challenging enough, up your weight for the next round and vice versa. Take it down if you start to lose your form or your mind muscle connection. All right, y'all ready to go? Let's do it. We're gonna start with a quick body weight warm up, but have one lighter ish dumbbell handy for the second round. For our warm up, we're gonna start with two exercises. The first time through, body weight only. Second time through, optional dumbbell. All right, first exercise, we're gonna rotate both feet. Work on this hip, internal rotation as we lunge down. Bring it back, both feet rotate. Internal rotation of this hip is what I really want you to focus on. Following that, we have crossing squats. We're just going side to side. Body weight only, all right, for the first round. 60 seconds starts in three, two, and one, we lunge. Last three, two, and one. Now we have cross -ex squats. Just focus on really good mobility here. So try to take it down. Now, if your range of motion is limited, honor it and just take it side to side right here. But focus on a really big stretch here. Cross -ex squats, we go in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. All right, now you can do body weight again if you want. One more time through. This time I'm gonna add a very light dumbbell goblet squat, or excuse me, goblet position. Just grab the dumbbell like so. Side to side lunge. Internal rotation of the hip is our main focus. 
So let that hip rotate. Both feet have to pivot and swivel. This is just our warm up. So go lighter here. Last three, two, and one. Crossing squats with the weight, if possible. If we need to ditch the weight, we have this exercise one more round before we hit our next block of the day. Here we go, crossing squats. In three, two, and one. Focus on a real big stretch right here, just taking that full range of motion. Honor your body though, go to your end range motion. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, go ahead, grab a drink, grab your band, place it right below your knees. We need your bench or your chair, and we need one heavy dumbbell. So now we're gonna superset hip thrusts with banded lateral walks. We have four rounds of these hip thrusts, but we're gonna change the tempo on all four sets. So go ahead, slide the band right below the knees. We need one heavy dumbbell. Bring your shoulder blades back and down into your bench. Something I want you to be mindful of, keep the bottom of the rib cage and your hip connected. So we don't wanna do this. We don't wanna feel in the low back. So keep it connected. The bottom of my hip is actually in line or slightly underneath my rib cage. I will really want you to feel it in your glutes. So make sure you feel it in your glutes, Dry through the heels, press into the band as we bring it up. All right, first up, slow eccentric, slow concentric. So three, two, one, one count, pause. Three, two, one, as we lower. All right, get into position. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Three, two, one, use the glutes, feel it. Three, two, one, as you lower, good. Drive into the band, drive through the heels. Slow eccentric, slow concentric. Last three, two, and one. Set that dumbbell down, but have it handy. Now we have lateral walk. So we're just walking to one end of our mat. Keep tension on the band the whole time. So we're starting and ending right here. Don't lose tension on the band by bringing the feet all together. Whew. We go in three, two, and one. Soft knees, so a little mini squat here. And we're just taking it side to side. This will burn. Try not to let your hips rotate open. So if we drive it more to the side, that's gonna work our glute medius some more, a little bit more than your piriformis. So keep it, toes pointing forward, and just drive it out. 
Hip stay level, core stays slightly activated here. It will start to burn. If needed, you can slide the band up above your knees. Final 10 seconds, then we hit those hip thrusts again. Different tempo. Last three, two, and one. All right, grab your dumbbell, get into position. This time, same movement, but one count on the concentric, one count pause, three counts as we lower. So it's one count up, one count squeeze, three, two, one on the eccentric. Whew, we go in three, two, and one. Keep your perfect form. Now I'm looking straight ahead. I find I get the best glute activation like this. The form stays really good, but if this hurts your neck, you can lie your head on the bench. Just be very mindful of not overarching in the low back. So it's all in the glutes. We should not be feeling this in your low back because your core is engaged. Front of the abs are engaged. Keep it connected. If you find your rib cage flaring out and this going down, you will feel it in your low back. Not what we wanted to do. I see it a lot in person, so sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going. Three, two, and one. All right, set that dumbbell down. We go back to our lateral walks. I'm just gonna pick up right where I ended from. So I started right here. Ooh, shake it out. All right. This one's gonna burn if needed, slide it up. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. All right, two down, two to go on the hip thrust. Now, we're gonna add a pulse at the top. So normal tempo on the concentric and eccentric, but we're gonna add a, like a quarter of a rep or a pulse, whatever you wanna call it. So just add a little rep at the top. Let's go. So we go up, pulse, bring it down. All the way up, a quarter rep, all the way down. Form stays the exact same. You're driving through the heels and you're also pressing into the band as we're going up. That band is there for a reason, make it work. In the final 10 seconds of this exercise, should be a struggle, all right? It's gonna be a struggle to keep your form and it's going to burn. If it doesn't feel like a struggle, we need to up our weight selection. Three, two, and one. Final round of these lateral walks. Then we have one more set of hip thrusts. Then we're done. All right, I'm gonna start on this side of my mat to show this side some love. One minute on. Woohoo! We go in three, two, and one.
Final 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, final round of hip thrust, this time normal tempo. You're still squeezing the glutes at the top, but it's one up, one down. Constant tension in those glutes. Here we go. Same form, tempo, up and down. All right, let's do it. After this, we get a longer break. Final 30 seconds, we got this. Last three, two, and one. All right, grab your drink of water, get rid of that band. Uh, we don't need it for right now. Uh, next up, we have straight leg deadlift. So you grab something heavy for that. Uh, we need your book now because we have front foot elevated split squats. We'll do right and left, moderate weight selection, and then a lighter dumbbell for lying hamstring curls. We can do it on the mat or on a bench, grab all your stuff. All right, our next block is a tri-set. We'll repeat it three times. One exercise is a unilateral movement, so it's like we have four exercises before taking it back to the top. All right, every exercise, round one, we're gonna change up the tempo. Round one, slow concentric, slow eccentric. We have straight leg deadlifts, followed by front foot elevated, split squats, left, then right, and then we have a dumbbell lying hamstring curl. I'll be performing it on the mat, but if you have a bench, you can perform it there. It'll be a little bit more challenging. You'll have greater range of motion. All right, slow concentric, slow eccentric, all right? So keep the dumbbells tight to the body, hip hinge motion, feeling it along the bottom of the glute max into that hamstring. All right, let's grab our weights. We're going to go in three, two, and one less work. Three, two, one on the way down. Three, two, one on the way up. Try not to bend those knees. So send the hips back, 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 and then bring it up nice, slow, and controlled. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Is the front of your core firm and active? So we have to stabilize the spine somehow. And if your abs aren't tight right here, meaning braced, then your lower back is probably moving the load. We want it, We have to stabilize the spine somehow, so keep the front of your core nice and connected. Bottom rib cage to that hip. Final rep. And nice work. I'm gonna change out my dumbbells to something slightly lighter. Now the front foot, my left foot is going on the book, right foot is going back, and we're just taking it down and up, slow eccentric, slow concentric. We go in three, two, and one. to use that left glute. So think about glute going up, 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 squeezing that left glute on the way up. Make sure the majority of the weight is in the front left foot and not this back foot. So you should be able to lift it up. I'm not gonna ask you to do it. Just do a weight check right now. Light lean forward may activate your glutes a little bit more than straight up right. Mm -hmm. 
Last three, two, and one. Woo, shake it out. We're gonna hit the other side. Right foot on the book, left foot goes back. If you have any trouble balancing, just widen your base instead of the balance beam on those railroad tracks. Here we go. Feet into position. We go in three, two, and one. Three, two, one on the way down. Three, two, one on the way up. And when we take that concentric motion slow, we're really feeling the glutes lift us back up. If you don't, we may be too far right here. So just try shifting forward, but you're keeping a neutral spine throughout. And one, all right, lying hamstring curls. So we gotta get a little creative. Dumbbell goes in between the feet. We lie down, we curl it up, slow and controlled, slow and controlled on the way down. We go in three, two, and one. I want you to lay your head on the mat. The only reason I am not is because my mic will sound awful. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking and this is how it should look. Final 10. Three, two, and one. All right, we go from the top. This time, slow eccentric, one count on the concentric. So we start with those single or straight leg deadlifts. Try to hit that same weight selection. We go in three, two, and one. So this time, three, two, one, one count pause one count on the concentric all right three two one one count pause one count drive it up and i'm using my glutes and hamstrings to drive myself back up notice small squeeze of the glutes at the top you don't have to i kind of like it just make sure that low back stays neutral and we don't shift any pressure unwanted pressure into that low back no hyperextending of the lumbar spine Last three, two, and one. Split stand squats, get into position. We stay with that same tempo that we just did for the deadlifts. Left foot goes on that book. We take it down, three, two, one, one count pause, one count, drive it up. All right, so you can stay upright with the spine. That is totally fine. I find that that shifts the effort more so into the quad, whereas if we had a slight hinge forward, very small difference, we can really drive through the glute a little bit more. Find what works for you and then stick with it. Slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Now I'm never slowing down, cause we're blowing up. 
like a weapon attack with no questions in my own section and they still disconnected because their mind's been infected and they're filled with objection too filled for recollection so we're losing all attention they don't know i'm in contention because i'm gaining their attention because i'm making a connection lyricism and aggression got me feeling my ascension in my passion my profession i'm attacking my obsession taking action and progressing uh. I go off on the enemy, that's what makes them scared of me. Make my plans carefully, then execute them daringly. This thing I get three, two, and one nice work. Shake it out. We have the other side. Oh. We go. Right foot goes on that book, left foot goes back. The majority of the weight should be in this right heel. We go in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Hamstring curls, slowly centric, one count concentric. Get into position, you gotta hang on to that dumbbell with your feet. Hang on to it. All right, oh we go. In three, two, and one. And one. All right, we take it from the top. We go normal tempo with those straight leg deadlifts. Whew. Get into position. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. Final round. Make it a good, good quality set here. It's not about how many reps we can get in, but how many quality reps we can get in. So where are you feeling it? Hamstrings and glutes should be your answer. All right, grab your light dumbbells. Final round of split stunts, feet. Front foot elevated, <laughs> split squats. All right, left foot goes on, normal tempo. And we go in three, two, and one. My leg's shaking a little bit. Final round through these. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. 
know what I want, so I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sitting, and this is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, and there ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream, baby, right past the thing. Every night, got a team. Three, two, and one. My left glute is on fire. All right, now let's hit the right. Right foot goes on that book. Normal tempo. If you need to come out of it, pause. Pause and then rejoin the rep count. Here we go. We go. And three, two, and one. Best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. Last three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. We have one more exercise and we get a little longer break. Hamstring curls, normal tempo. Hug that dumbbell with the feet. Do not let it go. Here we go. Final round in three, two, and one. Final 10 seconds. Best to me, they want the best to me now. Best to me now. Best to me now. Last three, two, and one. Woo! Grab a drink of water. Heavy dumbbell. Meet me back up. We have goblet squats, iso squat, calf raises, two rounds, then we're done. Less than five minutes, y'all. Final two exercises. We're only doing two rounds of these two, so less than five minutes, and we're done. So we're gonna grab one heavy dumbbell. I'm gonna grab that one. If we have goblet squats, we're gonna start with a slow eccentric. Wanna count pause, slow concentric for the first round, and then we'll go normal tempo. We will be supersetting that with, we'll put the dumbbell down, iso, squat, calf raises. That's gonna suck. All right, fair warning, it sucks. But what doesn't challenge us? won't change us. Here we go. Keep the toes forward if possible. Limit that external rotation because we're going to hit uh, the external rotation sumo squats in another video. So toes pointed forward. Do not let the knees cave in. If that happens, think about ripping the floor away from you. Goblet squats, slow eccentric, slow concentric. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone will be different with their range of motion. So some of us will end right here. That's fine. Some of us may be lower than this. Keep your core braced. Keep the front of the core active so we don't let the paraspinals and multifidi stabilize the spine. So keep the core, front of the core loaded. Inhale down, exhale. Drive it up. This will be your last rep. Three, two, and one. All right, set that dumbbell down. 
goblet squat hold, uh, excuse me, iso squat hold with calf raises. If you need to help stabilize with the wall, brace yourself right here with something, chair, wall, whatever. All right, let's go. Squeeze the calves, bring it down. Come on, final 15. Three, two, and one. Oh, shake it out. One more time through. We have goblet squats. Uh, this time, normal tempo, up and down. Keep the form exactly the same. The tempo is changing. Final round in three, two, and one. Set that dumbbell down. Now, we end. Iso squat, calf raises. If you need to, you can just do standing calf raises. This one's gonna suck. Let's do it anyway. We're in it together. I'm gonna wanna stop, but we're gonna push through. Let's go, final 60. Try to cramp up your calves right here. So big squeeze of those calves, release. Squeeze them hard. If you need a wall or a chair right here, grab it. One inch lower. Final 30 seconds. It's not the Molly, it's the boat. Ain't no coming back to me. Little life will lie for me. It's so much game that I can see. I know you are up for a challenge in 15 seconds. We hold the heels up and we'll pulse it down for 15 seconds only. This is where you will hate me. This is where that change will happen in five, four, three, two. Heels stay up. Now little pulses down. Last three, two, and one. Oh, shake it out. Oh, nice work, y'all. All right. Hit the stop button. Slow that breath down. At least I'm talking to myself. So let's stretch it out. Right foot goes forward. Dorsey flex at the ankle. Big deep inhale, long spine. As we exhale, send those hips back just enough so we feel a stretch along the back of that leg. Nice work today. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, other side. So this is day one for the month for a strength program. If you wanna add more conditioning to it, I will have cardio videos linked. Once I get everything filmed and edited, I'll have a whole playlist. It'll say how to follow it in the description. Let's bring it to a little quad stretch because we did work those quads a little bit. Ooh, bring it on in. Anyway, once I have all the videos filmed and edited in the description, it will say how to follow it and what cardio add-on to do 
if you want to add cardio you don't have to also my favorite form of cardio walking <laughs> it's hard to do right now because there's ice all over the ground and snow but uh if you have access to a treadmill don't underestimate walking it is great for you Whew. okay let's hit the glutes <laughs> so balance on something if needed we're coming into a figure four stretch so bring the outside of the left ankle over the right quad externally rotate left hip open big deep inhale exhale hinge it back so we feel a big stretch along the back of that hip into your pure fourness <sighs> inhale up and we'll hit that other side y'all then we're done nice work today if that didn't feel challenging guess what it's time to go up in weight selection if that felt challenging stick with the weight but one way to progress ourselves is to challenge our resistance so four weeks from now we should be doing a little bit heavier weight all right i know you can do it y'all my name is laurie keep up the amazing work like comment subscribe i really appreciate all your support and your feedback keep up the amazing work you rock